hi guys welcome back to my channel and today's subject is going to be about toxic christian relationships so watch out hi guys for those of you who don't know my name is omalade okayato and i focus on faith travel and reviews but in today's video i'm going to be speaking about faith so before i get on to the video if you haven't subscribed yet guys please make sure you subscribe it's just below make sure you support a sister i would really appreciate it well 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 welcome to car talks with omalade so let me go straight to the point and let me define what a toxic relationship is so a toxic relationship is any relationship that is emotionally or physically damaging so i think it's very important that i start off with the definition before getting into some of the points that i want to speak about so that we are both clear right so the first one that i would like to start off with is when they give advice so when they give advice thinking that this is the right advice for you and they do not reference the word of god they don't look at the word they don't check the word they don't bring you to scripture and they just tell you what they think based on their feelings based on their emotions and what they feel in their head is right which i don't think is correct like if you're going to seek advice if you're going to seek godly sound advice it needs to come from scripture do you know what i mean it needs to align with what the word says accountability hmm sorry if this is triggering but let me go on to accountability so it's when you are accountable to them so you're accountable to them they have full control of your life they don't encourage you to have a mind of your own you're always seeking advice from them every single time they do not encourage you to have a personal relationship with jesus they don't they they encourage you to have a personal relationship with them but not jesus so you don't even have an independent relationship with christ and another thing is like it leads to control so it's like they have full control over your life so every decision that you have to make every decision that you you need to do always has to go through them you always have to answer to them and ask for their permission on every single thing and that is not healthy because at the end of the day it's your life you live in your shoes it's you and not theirs right so before you come for me before you come for me i'm not saying that someone that you're accountable to is wrong but as long as it's healthy and they're leading you to christ that's the most important thing what i've mentioned before is basically a very unhealthy version so next thing that i was going to go on to is if you're constantly feeling anxiety you're constantly feeling fearful you don't really feel good like you don't feel in the best mental state like when you leave speaking to them you just don't feel good about yourself and i think this is another thing that you need to be very wary of if your mental health is affected and is at stake because of this individual or because of this person then i think you need to think twice if this is a healthy relationship because a healthy relationship is when they are meant to encourage you when they are meant to lead you and direct you when you're meant to be leaving you know feeling relieved feeling motivated not feeling down down. so i think this is another sign that you are in a toxic relationship and this leads on to my next point is when they always belittle you they always put you down they never encourage you they never motivate you if you have dreams and if you have goals and things that you want to reach they always destroy those goals or those dreams they're not happy for you they're not so it's like they're making you feel really bad and low about yourself continuously and constantly another thing is using your problems against you so say you open up to the individual that you are friends with or you're in a relationship with or you see them as you know a leader or some sort you open up to them you know you tell them the truth about what is really going on inside of you and what you're experiencing some of your problems some of your issues some of you maybe your deepest things that you will never ever tell anybody and you have trusted them and you've told them and it is used against you yes that is a toxic relationship so there's different ways that these things can be used against you as if they gossip 
about you so if they gossip about your problem and your issue that you have opened up to them to others another thing is if, say if they're a preacher and they're on the pulpit and they're preaching and they you know just say your business like that on the altar they just say it and it, it's like indirect so they've done it in an indirect way but you know that they're talking about you i think that that is very toxic and that is not fair you're improving and you are you know developing and you've kind of moved forward from that and you speak to them and then they say to you oh but you know remember you were like this and you were like that and you know they it's like they try to bring you back to how you were like i think that's another way to know a really good way to woo you in is when they love bomb you so love bombing can be done in many different ways but over complimenting you giving you gifts saying kind words to you constantly and this is a manipulation tactic to woo you in to get you on their side for you to trust them quickly for you to think that they're a nice person and they're a good person and then in that case you're able to easily trust them you're able to easily open up to them so please please be aware of these love bombing tactics a lot of them can be used as a manipulation tactic for them to get through to you if that makes and sense codependency so similar to my first point, but codependency is when you over, you over depend on them. So you can't make any decision. You can't live your life without this person or without this individual. It's like you see them as your God. You see them as the one that, you know, they're the only ones that you can go to and rely and depend on. And it's this codependency, this over-reliance that you can't move or do things on your own. You can't do things individually. You can't do things by yourself. You tend to miss their presence because you rely on them so, so much. And I think that this is so dangerous because at the end of the day, the only person that we should be dependent on is Christ. Fully, solely dependent on is him. Right, I'm going to go with the spy culture on social media. So if this person or individual constantly is spy on you on social media, it's like they're using social media as a way to monitor your movements, to determine what you should do, where you should be, how you should dress, who are you, why are you with this person, you know, why are you at this place? I think that that's a really, really dangerous thing, especially if they just know everything that you're doing, they know everywhere you're going, they just know everything. And I think that's really, really scary scary and you know they use it against you they're like oh i know you were at this this place um, at so and so time this is very creepy this is very ooh, cringe we all so have different personalities we all do and we are wonderfully and uniquely made and i think one issue is that when they can't work with your personality of course not everyone gets along with everybody you know that is fine life eh? we're human beings but it's when they don't want to work with your personality they don't want to understand you they don't want to get you they don't want to understand why the way you are maybe because of your past or maybe because it's a personality trait about you and they they just don't want to understand where you are at in life Right, so these are just some of the couple of points that I wanted to mention on how to identify when you're in a toxic relationship. So as you can clearly see, I'm not talking about a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. It could be friends, it could be your leader, it could be your pastor, it could be anybody. So, and these points come across all of those things. So I just hope that this really helped. I have done some videos on like seeking therapy because I think that seeking therapy is very key and very very important if you are coming out of a toxic relationship or if you have experienced that type of thing because I believe healing is very important and as well as forgiveness so I think that therapy is a very key thing so definitely check out some of my videos that I've done about that another thing is also to try and distance yourself from that individual if you don't feel fully comfortable to cut them off completely I think another thing is to try and distance yourself or change environments change if they're in a particular environment environment that you know you're always seeing them and you're not really too comfortable about it another thing is to also maybe try and change your environment and if there's anyone that you can trust anyone that you know you believe that 
you really can trust them maybe you can open up to them and seek some advice from them and of course resources books really key educating ourselves is really important on this topic because it helps us to identify some of these key things and of course i cannot leave this video without saying read your word read the bible you will see how christ you know was with his disciples you will see how christ treated others so i think that one of the most fantastic examples to always look to and to look towards is christ and the word anyway guys i really hope that this video was useful and it was helpful make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe and make sure you support a sister until next time